It looks like. Missy, no. Ah, Miss Maroon. What are you trying to do, Miss? Get down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks like a big borga. <laughs> big borga. Brilliant. Now, wait till we get the ice shirt on the stuff. Oh, that's so true. Oops. Uh, this segment of the video is sponsored by Blueland. One of my New Year's resolutions was to make more sustainable lifestyle changes. And one of my biggest challenges has been finding suitable cleaning products until I found Blueland. So Blueland products are effective, safe for use and sourced from clean ingredients. They use no single use plastics from the bottles to the shipping. And all you need are these small tablets to dissolve in warm water in their designated bottle. And when you run out, you can just order the tablet and refill. So there's no plastic waste. It's only $2 per tablet and it makes so much much product so you save so much money two dollars in pounds would probably get you like a packet of flaming hot cheetos which only lasts about three minutes i usually pay four pounds to six pounds for sprays and soap so i've saved so much money since switching to blue land got the clean essential kit which i've just shown here if you get the kit you save 20 percent and i have a code for you to save an extra 20 percent so to get your first purchase from blue land 20 percent off click the link in my description thank you to blue land for sponsoring this video Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Ugh. Do the thing with your hands. up you guys and welcome back to this cleaning channel anyway I don't know what to do first we've got a glass and mirror cleaner nice little tip from actually working in um, retail what you do is you get some brown paper or newspaper like so then wipe it away and then it makes it shinier apparently no, just leave it on someone just... Okay, genius. Are you, Are you mad at me for saying? Are you mad at me now? Are you mad at me? <laughs> oh, you recorded me putting my gloves on. What? <sighs> it's horrible. Yeah. Why 
is that coming off? And that must be on the outside. Okay, the doors are so clean. They're really clean. Lizzie's no help. No, she's not. She doesn't even clean up her own shite. She takes after you. Hey! I woke up naturally at like half six this morning, which hasn't happened to me I'd say since summer because during winter months I always just hibernate and sleep in really late. But this morning I woke up naturally at half six in the morning, couldn't get back to sleep. So I fed Missy, made Jason breakfast in bed. Then I read all morning. I had a, it's so nice getting up earlier because you don't feel shit about yourself and you don't feel guilty about like wasting, you can have kind of a slow morning and you can do the things to work you up to doing product you know, it motivates you to be more productive. I've deleted TikTok, not my account, just the app, because sometimes I get too addicted and I have to ref to refrain myself from using it, I just delete the app. But then I like I have an insatiable desire for a dopamine hit. So I end up just substituting that addiction with something else. So at the moment, I have started watching The Vampire Diaries. I don't know why, I've never watched it before, because it is a lot, it's life-changing. It's the best thing I've ever seen. So, yeah. But Jason has seen it already, so he's like ha half paying attention when we're watching it together. But that also means that I can watch it when he's not home, which can be a real issue in relationships. I, I doubt that, that that's just a unique circumstance in my relationship. I'd say that a lot of people experience the same thing. And you know, if you're fighting over like watching TV shows when the other person isn't there, I think it's pretty so it's pretty solid. But anyway, yeah, so I can watch that without him, so it's handy. So now that I've had my slow morning, I read, I read like 100 pages, had my brekkie in bed, then I put a wash on, I cleaned this room because Missy like chews shit up and gets it all over the floor. So I clean, I swept the floors in here. Uh, we also, it, this room is also so cluttered, but what is she licking? This room is so cluttered because um, we don't have enough hooks in our room, so we just like throw our coats there. And if I get like packages or whatever, or like stuff I have to sell on Depop, something there with my address on it. I have to sell this chest of drawers because it doesn't fit in our room and I'm obviously moving out soon and this TV doesn't work, so I'm not entirely sure what to do with it. Like, do, I can't drive, so I can't take it to a recycling center. But like, if I put it on my story being like, broken TV, does anyone want it for free? Do you think someone would actually take it? Like, surely there's someone that follows me who can like, fix the TV. Because I bought, I bought batteries for the remote, I bought a new wire that connects from the telly into the actual plug hole, the electricity plug hole, and it's still fucked. It still doesn't, it just doesn't turn on. I thought I was being a genius. I literally was like, oh my God, guys, we just need to get a new wire. Bought a new wire, looked it up, like image Google, Google image searched what wire, what exact wire it was, got the same one, shoved it in. It turned on for literally half a second and then it shut off again. Like the screen's just black. So I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it, but it was working. Like when we first bought it, it was working for like two months. It was so nice having a telly because I hate watching TV in bed. Like, cause then you're just always, it feels like you're always in bed. Anyway, it was so nice. Me and Jason watched Pose on that TV and loads of RuPaul's Drag Race. Drag Race just isn't the same on a laptop. You have to have it on a big telly. I got myself a little yo these yogurts yesterday. You know when you go to, like, 
it's actually so underrated how fun food shopping is. Like having the responsibility as an adult where you can actually go into a food shop and get whatever you want. I really took it for granted because as a child, I would do the food shop with my dad. I really need to get a new camera. I want to get a, a Canon G7X.3, but I, I want to get it secondhand obviously because like, why would I buy a new one if people, because people, that seems like a thing that people always buy. Like I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I'm going to get a vlog camera and then they end up never using it and then it's up for sale. Do you know what I mean? So if anyone has one sitting around their house and they want to sell it to me, I will pay good money because I really need, because like the lens on this is broken. You can't attach, um, an external microphone onto it thing but i like like to use things until they're actually unusable do you know what i mean because i'm like why would i need a new camera when it's just like you know if the quality was a bit better i it would be an easier time and people would enjoy the videos more no i'm going back like auburn remember i had kind of like a reddish like an auburn tone brunette color in my hair a few months ago and i've never gotten so many compliments in my whole life on the color of my hair which was obviously the specifics of what was making me look so good, you know? And for some reason, I always just get, get an itch to be like, no, I need to have bleach in my hair to make myself feel better. Even though that hair color just suits me the best. And then I immediately regret bleaching my hair because like you get roots and then I put colors through it and just make it worse and worse and then it starts breaking off. So remind me, hold me accountable, remind me again to not ever like bleach the front bits of my hair. Like I just, I regret it already. Like I just don't want it there anymore. Um, so I am gonna go that Auburn brunette color soon. But see, I have to go to the big boots in Stratford and Stratford is like a whole day out, you know, it's a whole day out. But yeah, going food shopping as a kid. I would always do the food shop with my dad uh, on Saturday in, Tes in the big Tesco in Clare Hall. Let me also say Dublin versus London. The supermarkets here are so bad. Even since Bre since Brexit as well, there was a period over summer where literally it was like an apocalypse. Half the freezers were empty. Like you couldn't get ice, you couldn't get frozen fruit, you couldn't get random corn products. Uh, it was it was actually terrible. And even like the big Tesco's here are not as big as they are back home. And I don't know if that's because of a space like a space issue because obviously London is very densely packed together, so you wouldn't have the room for a really Really, really big supermarket but I don't know that's no excuse though is it anyway so the, just the Irish Tesco's I think are so much better anyway so our local our local Tesco it wasn't really local like we had to drive there was Clare Hall I remember that when that first opened oh my god it changed our lives it changed our lives forever I remember the baking section in particular being so big and so vast I was like I'm gonna make so many things but obviously I never actually shopped there when I had my own money or when I was financially independent I was always there with my dad like this is when I was you know 12 13 14 and they, they had a huge skincare section and I would sometimes like slip stuff like slip makeup into the trolley and he wouldn't notice until we were at the till and then he'd have to buy for me because he can't look bad in front of the cat but he would just all I would put random food into the thing and then I would end up never eating it but then when you when you get financially independent and you're buying your own food you're more conscious of like food waste and stuff because you don't actually see the direct implications of your actions when you're a child because you're like first of all it's not my money and I don't know where it's going it's, just, it's not a big deal to go in the bin whereas now I'm like oh, I even talked about this in my last video like what is with me and food waste why am I so obsessed I'm literally obsessed with food waste um I'm literally like food waste question mark and everyone's story. I'm like food waste question mark to my dad. I like texting that. Anyway, so now I get real conscious of like, you know, sometimes I shop two or three times a week. So I'm just shopping by meal that I'm going to eat rather than a big shop and then throwing out food. And when I was nauseous last month, it was, it ripped me up inside because I get a craving for something and then I try eat it and or I'd make it and I'd be sitting in front of me and I'd literally be like, I'm going to get sick if I have any of this. It was awful. I ended up throwing out so much stuff. Now that I have my appetite, back I, I took it I so took it for granted like I just took food for granted so much and especially now because I'm like getting in tune with my inner child and stuff I'm eating all the things that I would have wanted when I was 12 13 but then you know I didn't I didn't know how to cook or I didn't know how to put the effort into it to make it taste nice it would just sit in my fridge and then I wouldn't I just forget about it so things like but there are other treats that would just be eaten immediately you know in a house where there's four siblings like and I had an older brother and if you've ever had an older brother like they literally eat, and they're a teenager they eat 
so much. It's like, you need to eat it as soon as it gets out of the shopping bag or it will be gone. For example, like, golden nuggets cereal that was like our that was our big treat like if we we would get a branded cereal do you know um so golden nuggets was our big treat the girls loved weedos but i never really liked weedos so that was fine um but me and santa would be fighting over for the uh golden nuggets you know having an older brother and having jason it's kind of similar like he will eat anything he will eat yeah he will eat it up like he sometimes like smells missy's food and he's like that smells good do you know what I mean? Like, there's something wrong there. So he would literally eat anything. So I told, I was taking food for granted so much. But anyway, oh, geez, it's such a tangent. I bought these yogurts and they taste exactly like Petit Falou's. So I'm really enjoying myself. And I'm just so excited to, like, be able to eat food again and cook myself food and being like, oh my God, I can cook this really nice, intricate meal and put the time into it. Because I find it really cathartic and therapeutic to cook. I know a lot of people are you know it stresses them out or it's like that's literally their worst nightmare to cook and they prefer to get something easier but i really really like just the act of cooking cooking for other people even if i'm not that good like it took me a while to even kind of like my own food if you know what i mean and a lot of trial and error like probably two or three years ago i would make stuff and even i would be like this is disgusting do you know but i enjoyed the it's not about the destination it's about the journey so i enjoyed the making of it but see i'm so interested in food like agriculture growing my like growing my own vegetables one day having chickens to have my eggs like making my own oat milk and making my bread from scratch and i just feel like you can't do all of those things unless you have your own kitchen but maybe i'm just putting I'm fabricating obstacles as a way to procrastinate or something. I don't know. Ow. But yeah, I'm so excited to eat food again. Having a hot chocolate after dinner. Oh my God, you can't bait it. It's just so good. What else would I like to treat myself to? Like making myself, obviously all these things are veggie. I hate the way you have to preface this when you're a vegetarian, when you're like, oh, BLT or I had a, a chicken fillet roll. Like obviously it's a meat substitute, you know what I mean? But there was a long period there when I couldn't eat any meat substitutes because I was like, oh, but they're like a real treat, you know, because it's like tastes like the old thing that you're nostalgic over like a chicken fillet roll or a BLT or a club sandwich and all that stuff and the substitutes of these days are so good so you can replicate any meal that you want really but yeah but I have some egg whites left over from the carbonara that I made last night so I think we're gonna make a pavlova today and um, but we don't have any fresh straw fresh strawberries so I might just make mini pavlovas that you like eat or like mini meringues but we do have oatly whipped cream one thing I am turned off still is aubergine and I used to love aubergine and I can't eat it I still can't eat it at all but I can eat like kale rocket spinach which is good because then I'm getting my folic acid in you know I look so like my dad right now or N. is that all I wanted to say me and Jason are going out for dinner tonight with friends and tomorrow then we're going to Greenwich but I'm gonna vlog um because we're gonna on the cable cars which will be fun I'm also gonna do that giveaway for my posters the posters in my room this week so keep an eye keep an eye out you guys on my Instagram it's linked down below follow me on Instagram you guys um so yeah, if you want to enter the giveaway, it'll be easy. It'll just be like share on your story and I don't know. Yeah, okay, that's it. Oh, they're playing in there. Why are you playing? They're playing hug. <laughs> <laughs> what cereal do you got? Good nuggets. I wish Reese was here so we could get the goss. And it's nice. No, find out. I have to live vicariously through other people now. The thing Shawnee and Sean Lanny and I went to last night looks so fun. <laughs> Ew. Don't put that in. <laughs> no, it's your fault. You did it. Don't put it in. I am putting it in. I'm joking. I won't. Can you open that for me? Eva! Evie! 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 Oh, did you see how fast Missy went right there? It's like a speed delay. Missy McQueen. She looks at the camera. Evie! Oh, what is it? What is it? Did you do that? 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 You did that! Can you paw? Can you paw? Oh, good girl. Mwah. She's just like, Arr. Hey, we're going on. Oh God. We're going on them. Yes, we are. I can't see anything because the sun. 
I'm so excited. I'm sure it looks good. Hey, you look good. Hey, you always look good. You look so handsome. How long have we walked to say now? Uh, uh, five minutes, but like probably like two minutes. Okay. Oh, it's probably so it? nice with the sunset. Wait, is it five euro each or five for like? I think five for a round trip. Okay. Five euro per person for a round trip. Oh, okay. Five pounds. So five euros. Well, we have to use saying euro now. I really want to go on holidays. Yeah, you got to for my birthday on a weekend in the summer hot. I know, but I'd love to do like a long sun holiday. Yeah. But somewhere that we've I've never been before, like the Bahamas. That would be nice. Oh, look. Oh, look, the fishy. Babe, I literally just started recording and now I have one bar. Oh, it's so annoying. This camcorder is fucked. You need a portable charger. No, I just need a new battery for it because it just doesn't hold charge anymore. Oh, now it's going to charge the battery pack. Oh, she turned it off so you This is kind of making me want to go skiing. Is that what they're like? Yeah, they uh, Except you jump off them. The, um, yeah, you just ski off them. What do you call the gondolas? This is so fun! It's so fun. <laughs> You're just like looking at your phone. I know. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having so much fun. Way too much fun. It's too much fun! An illegal amount of fun. <laughs> Babe, it's so cute. I know, yeah. I love this so much. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's so nice. No, it definitely takes longer than five minutes, love. Sink? Yeah. Sure, I don't... Greenwich isn't close. It is, yeah. Where is it? It's close where we are now. It's just the other side of the river, like. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, we got such a good day for it. I know, yeah. I'm scared. No, you're not. Tony hasn't. Wee! I think you're the view. I think you're the view. I am. The town is so scruffy, isn't it? That's wrong. Do you know where else might look nice here? I didn't stand up with you. I got scared. You're scared, you can. I actually was scared to stand up with Hey, I want to get take out a thumbnail. Thumbnail. Am I the king of fucking everything? Wait. Thumbnail. Queen of fucking everything. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do it. I was one of them. Boats in a bottle. Where's the vlog, man? <laughs>